Y'all, listen, the way this week's episode is set the fuck up, y'all, this shit completely stressed the fuck out of my goddamn hairline, bro. I'm trying to really keep that shit, you feel me? By the time this season is over with, I'm so scared and afraid that I'm gonna end up a dry, dehydrated, dilapidated, hair follicle suicide ass bitch. And, and let's be honest, the come up universe. We... All know what the fuck that looks like. It's so hard to say goodbye. And uh, I don't know about y'all, but uh, the way Earth Realm is set up right now, I'm trying to spend the rest of my days, okay, that we have left, living my best life. And bitch, if Earth Realm is about to finally merge with our world, girl, and we all finna die, all I'm saying is that I'm gonna die with my hairline fully fucking intact and just busted a nut from my fourth round, okay? Does anybody understand what I'm saying right now? Let's fucking get it. We open this week's episode looking at beautiful NYC. And I just wanna say thank you in advance, Karan, because watching these videos on repeat is the only way we gonna remember what the fuck NYC used to look like, okay? So you hoes better just soak all that shit in while you can because Earth Realm is currently being merged with Outworld Coronavirus. Thank you, Mitch. And speaking of Earth Realm, let me pause real motherfucking quick. Uh, Earth Realm, y'all good? Um. Listen, who in the fuck, okay, came together, sat down, and was fully fucking confident in their decision to bestow unto Mitch the title of Earth Realm's chosen fucking defender, huh? I know at least one of you hoes is responsible for this goddamn shit, along with Trump motherfucking fish lips, goddamn old ancient woman pussy lips, mouth having ass nigga. Because here's my issue. You didn't think to send Liu Kang, either the living or undead version at this fucking point, because I mean, girl, Sonya Blade, Kung Lao, Jax, the new generation hoes, none of them. But y'all decide to send Darius instead? And I can hear some of y'all now saying, who is Darius? Egg fucking exactly, bitch. Who thought that it was a good fucking idea? Bitch, look at his fatality. What the fucking fuck? This is Earth Realm's chosen defender? Y'all y'all motherfuckers for real about this shit though. So y'all telling me that y'all is like completely okay with a nigga whose fatality is him attacking a nigga with his all over the place Kimberrell heels Kaya's career struggling ass vocal choices and the opponent apparently us the fucking viewers, before we fucking die, you know, we try to give some critiques to try to help us all fucking live. And he's like, hmm, fuck that. I can see. It was the bread that fucked me up, bitch. But now that Mitch, AKA Baby DeVito, AKA Darius, Earth Realm's chosen fucking defender, knows that he fucked up, that ego is popping off like Justin's OnlyFans. And Mitch is like, I mean, y'all chose me, so don't be mad at me. We should be mad at y'all selves, bitch. I'ma spend the rest of my days singing at intimate settings, such as y'all's funeral, because <laughs> little do y'all know, I'm about to switch teams because I intend on living, whether it's Earth Realm or Outworld Girl, at this point, bitch, living my best life. So Mitch drags us along with him to scout, you know, for locations for his album release party, AKA the Earth Realm is going to hell, but not me, sorry, not sorry party. So Mitch, along with his best friend, you know, they meet up with the owner of the venue to discuss business. So Mitch is all like, yeah, I just want to do something different. You know, I I, I, I know Shao Kahn, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi and them is, you know, used to, you know, such grand ass events and stuff, but I want to show them that intimate Intimate settings are great as well, you know? And I don't think he ever experienced an intimate setting like, you know, the one I'm gonna create for him. You know, especially with him being, you know, the soon to be king of all realms. So like, what does your venue offer? And the owner of the venue was like, hey, I completely understand. I mean, hey, I'm a Shao Kahn supporter myself. <laughs> uh, anyway, the venue comes with its own personal slave slash server, you know, for Earth Realm people who haven't got comfortable with it yet. And your own VIP section and exclusive passcodes only for VIP. And Mitch was like, okay, okay, you know, I, I think this would be cute, you know, for Shao Kahn and you know. And I'm also thinking about having the party a week before Christmas because this would be like a Caillou Christmas gift for Shao Kahn. So with all that being 
said, like, what's the numbers looking like? Like, what's the price? And the owner replied, since you're a fellow con supporter, I'll give you a discount. Somewhere in the 2000s. And Mitch replied, you know, that's... That's not bad, that's not bad. Now the only thing left is to persuade both Shang Tsung and Quan Chi to put a word in for me in reference to my survival to Shao Kahn, you know, as well as share this token of my appreciation for Shao Kahn's mercy by inviting him to my album release party. Who knows, I can end up becoming his minstrel of destruction because at this point, bitch, fuck all that. We might as well do this shit the fuck right. Y'all, Mitch on the track, bitch. You scared me, me. Earth realm hoes, you better offer up your pussy and booty hoes. Cause verse con is coming. Let's get it. I love con. You don't love con? What's wrong with you? Puppy. Bitch. I said I love con. You don't love con? You're fucking through. Fatality. Flawless victory. Ooh, Earth Realm, y'all on some stupid shit. Y'all bitches mad at me, but girl, y'all chose me, bitch. Ooh, Earth to fucking ghetto, bitch. I'm jumping ship. You bitches can have all the fun with this Corona shit, cause bitch, I'll be living. Yes, I'm, I'm living. Y'all bitches be dead, girl, but I'll be living true tea. And I'll be singing at y'all funerals all flat. Wow, Khan hit it from the back, cause bitch, I love Khan. You don't love Khan? You stupid, boo. Get the fuck over here, bitch! Earth's cancelled, bitch. Khan's where it's at. What you gonna do? Flawless victory. Corona, Corona? Rona? Corona, Rona? Rona, Corona? Corona, Rona, Corona? Rona, Corona, Corona, Corona? Rona? 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 Corona, Corona? Rona, Rona? Rona, Rona? Rona, Rona? Rona, Uh, uh, on the low here, uh, credit card scam. I need a hood nigga. Uh, that being in jail. Wow. He called me fair bitch and I paid the bill. I need a hood nigga. Uh, to spit on my mouth. Uh, fuck me good, fuck me inside out. I need a hood nigga. To fulfill my dreams. He looking good, he can get ever swing. I need a hood nigga. We are media. We are thirst trap boys. It is with a heavy heart that I have to report that a viral sensation in season one cast member of the hit web series, The Come Up New York, Isis Isaiah Polite, died early Tuesday morning in a horrible car accident in Long Island, New York. We're gonna shift gears to a more serious tone because this scene, if you really take the time out, and I mean really, really take the time out to reflect on your life and realize how fast that shit can change, when you do that shit, it's a powerful ass scene. Now, we're met with Chance, Montel, and two mutual friends who, if I'm not mistaken, were on previous seasons of The Come Up New York. And I know that I should know their names, but honestly, I didn't watch the previous seasons consistently, so please charge that to my head and not to my heart. At a candle vigil to collectively remember, honor, and celebrate our sister that was going too soon, Isis. Now, everyone took the opportunity to share how Isis has been a blessing to them. And Chance shared with us in the confessionals that despite the situations and circumstances that happened between him and Montel, let alone anyone else he had beef with you know that the god in him overshadowed his ego and he extends love and compassion and based off of everyone's testimony of our sister isis i can tell that god like truly shined in her so bright you know despite what society says what stereotypes or generalizations might say and she will never never be forgotten her spirit and her energy lives on through y'all and y'all's memory of her and i just want to put a pin in here real real quick with the way that life is set up especially with what's currently happening in our world today we need to truly appreciate those that we love and hold near and dear to us while we can because they will leave us now the only thing that is certain and guaranteed in this world is that we are all going to leave one day 
And to be honest, life don't care if you fucking Beyonce, if you're a trillionaire, we all have an appointed time. But don't let fear consume you. Work through it because when you do, there's a level of freedom that will leave you shook, but in a life bringing and life giving way. You'll be more present, you'll hug a little longer, love a little stronger. To our sister Isis, rest in power forever and ever. And we're mo- Y'all motherfuckers know by now. Now the day is dying down and the night life begins. Now, just take a moment and look at how beautiful it is. Don't worry, um, once Earth Realm is completely merged with our world, NYC is gonna look similar to this. You know, instead of the electric company illuminating NYC, it'll just be the fires of hell illuminating it because Shao Kahn has given NYC to Scorpion, which he plans to turn NYC into his own personal nether realm. Showing up first to Montel, aka Scorpion's event, Duce vs. Games, aka Scorpion's Nether Realm is moving to another location slash sparring party, is Justin and Chance, aka Shang Tsung and Quan Chi, the deadly fucking alliance. Quan Chi then reveals to us in the confessionals that he was expecting Scorpion's event to be very, you know, let me get $3 on pump five, a pack of zigzag cherry rush blunt wraps, and two Lucy cigarettes, but was blown away by Scorpion's newfound magic to transform the venue into something that's up to outworld standards. We are then greeted by Montel and his face is beat. And when I mean beat, I mean beat like the Vogue beat that Mother Scorpion is going to lay her TKO legendary vocals on. I'm talking beat like fucking Earth Realm. Fuck. So, you know, they're having all small talk and Justin was like, uh, yeah, enough of this shit. We, we gonna talk to you about Mitch, uh, Earth Realm's fallen defender and shit. And Scorpion said, bitch, listen, I did what the fuck I was supposed to do. I helped secure Outworld's victory over Earth Realm. So before I set my hopes too damn high, uh, does any of this shit that you about to tell me involve me? And they say, no, 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 it's 100% Earth Realm. Both Justin and Chance begin to share their common issue with Mitch. All that sneak this and shit. And I gotta recognize real when I see it. Chance, I commend you on your accountability because what Montel said. That chance, and I'm gonna keep it real with you. Mm -hmm. It's a little bad karma for you because you kind of did the same thing to me. Mm -hmm. So it's I mean, like, you know, it's like you didn't do it as far as what he did, like right. that deep, but it's kind of in the same field. You get what I'm saying? So it's just like now you see moving forward, everything you do right. comes right back. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'll take that. Yeah. I'll yeah. take that. Chance, you know, had a explicit picture of me and showed a bitch that didn't like me the picture. And he pulled out the phone and it's this bitch Martel dig. Uh, oh shit! Wait. Hold on. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh Look at that. You know, that nigga, no, nobody got them big ass thighs other than this fat really nigga right there. Me? Oh. He not owning it. I know that shit probably, look at the thigh. Like, if you saw the pictures, you know what? Uh. It's fucking true. Like, what goes around comes around. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, is exempt. And the fact that you were able to recognize that and stand ten toes down, that takes courage and maturity. But... Okay, because this is low key a sparring event as well. Montel lets both Justin and Chance know who's coming. And y'all, we got alcohol involved. And we experienced this cute ass montage of them playing suicide shots, AKA somebody getting their salad tossed tonight. Damn. As well as playing blindfolded water balloon tossing. And all the while, Chance over here acting like a drunk ass suburban white mom and shit. You know, I, I shouldn't be drinking like this, especially with it being a school night. Oh, wait a minute. Earth Realm is being merged. No school for my crazy ass kids who's driving me fucking crazy. So to keep me from taking my kids for a ride down by the fucking lake, Scorpion sir, pour me another fucking shot. And as the fun continues, in walks Miss Erica Badu rag slash the gay blade slash Earth Realm, I mean my bad, y'all realms fucking defender bitch, Mitch, looking inconspicuously conspicuous, nigga. So Mitch meets up with everyone and he goes to give Justin a hug, which I believe caught Justin by surprise. Then he hugs Montel and then proceeds to hug Chance, which at this time, Chance is clearly fucking drunk. So the whole, you know, keep it cordial bullshit is out the fucking window. You ain't finna hug me with your coronavirus throat sounding ass. Then Chance reveals to us that he thought 
if he drunk so much that it would calm him down. But you know, I know, we know, Jesus and Buddha and them motherfucking know, that's not the damn case. So time has passed, and at this fucking point, Scorpion said, okay, bitch, I'm bored. I'm ready to raise some fucking hell. So he decides to gather up Justin, Chance, and Mitch, and takes them to the back of this New World Order, Mark of the Beast, Walmart, FEMA concentration camp, the coronavirus is a cover-up for these 5G towers as building to discuss some shit. So in the confessionals, Mitch is a little confused and shook, but at the same time, Mitch is thinking like, wow, this will actually be a great time to talk to all three of them to see if they can all put a word in for me with Shao Kahn, you know, as well as invite him to my album release slash worship Shao Kahn party. Or at least he fucking thought. Listen, uh, they skipped past all the pleasantries and all that shit and got right to the fucking point. Now I told them about that, about what you said. Okay. Uh, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I mean, it's on film, so it's going to be aired anyways. Uh, so can I can I get the understanding of what the fuck is going on here? Like, basically, they have sex, and um, they have not talked since they fucked, and that's really what it is. So, is this true? And that's really what it is. And I mean, you said this sex was whack. You heard that from my mom? That's what I heard. You heard that from my mom? That's what I heard. But did you hear that from my mom? Technically. I mean, Chance is a bottom. I mean, come on. He's definitely a bottom. He's definitely not the greatest bottom that I've ever experienced with. He didn't shit on me, but when it comes to taking, you know, dick, I mean, that's, he shouldn't. I mean, he shouldn't. He really shouldn't take dick. Um, it was, uh, it was a waste of my time, child. Then Chance jumps in to give his perspective. And real shit, I can understand his perspective. Like, why are you sharing personal info about me to other people? But I do want to play devil's advocate real fucking quick. Now I have a question for Chance as well as the listening audience. Now if Mitch would have said, yeah, you know, Chance and I had a one night stand, and that motherfucking ass was everything, and I've been wanting it for the longest time, but he wouldn't give it to me anymore. But, you know, now that he's on the same cast as me, it's bringing back memories. If he would have said that, even though allegedly, if you fucking ask me, it kind of looks that way, would the same outcome play out? Anyway, baby, listen, Mitch started getting loud with Justin, and Justin, that nigga took off. Now, was all that fucking necessary? N no, because at the end of the day, Forget about all that other junk. This battle ain't yours. It's chances. So let's just kind of take it down a few notches and just be there for the moral goddamn support, okay? Now, while Scorpion goes to calm Shang Tsung ass down, Quan Chi is asking Mitch to disclose the truth right and just be honest and transparent about your shit and be a man and mitch continued to lie at this fucking point bro you can kiss that whole i love con celebration party song bullshit on out the fucking window and at this point tempers are starting to flare the ego self has inflated to such a degree that you know security now has to be implemented to help control the energy so mitch over here denying he's fucking denying he's fucking denying he's fucking denying and then bitch and then admits this this is this is this on that i had a i had a i had a couple of drinks that day okay so i may have said that we had a one night stand but let me tell you this that's as far as i went explaining what the experience was whether i liked it or not that's, that's all i said, that's what said fatality Baby, the middle-aged, privileged white woman and that nigga came the fuck out. I, I just got touched. I just got touched, so that's not gonna be the end of that. So I'm letting you know. If I'm ever in the room with him, we're gonna always fight. And security hit that ass with that goddamn character animation default T-stand. That nigga was like, bitch, you will not pass. But to be honest, that T-stand shit didn't mean a goddamn thing when Justin ass walked the fuck up. Because Justin was like, uh-uh, nigga, listen. Chance ain't gonna be the only nigga that's gonna be laying hands. Matter of fact, let me power up this goddamn soul nano real fucking quick. And just like a lot of bottoms, you know, fucking a nigga who makes sure that y'all don't get y'all fucking nut, we're left with blue balls until next fucking week.
And with that being said, y'all, we have reached the end of our review. How y'all feeling about this week's episode? How y'all feeling about this review, though? Now, leave everything down in the comment section below. All my social media info is in the description box below. Please like, share, and if you fucking feeling it, hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can stay updated with future videos such as the come up reviews and all that good shit. And until next time, everybody, peace in love. Y'all stay safe.